Okay, so working with curves is one of the powerful things uh, that you can do with NURBS. And so I'm just going to create a quick um, uh, EV, um, uh, sorry, CV curve tool. There's EP and uh, CV. They're both the same, okay? It's a matter of what you're clicking out, all right? So by uh, clicking out this curve, I placed the CVs. Uh, and it put the uh, edit points, the EPs, so there's the EPs, okay? With the EP curve tool, you place the EPs, and that's, so that's good for tracing something. If the client gives you a logo, you uh, trace it out, all right? And use the EP curve tool. All right, so there I've just tossed in a quick little curve. Um, let's see, and duplicate that, and dupe it again, and dupe, and dupe. All right, so I have, I got these four curves out here, and I'll just do a thing called a loft. All right, so the loft gives me a piece of geometry, and because of history, I can modify uh, any of these curves. So I can, um, what I can do here is I can um, uh, modify this guy and, you know, uh, tweak him in a bit. So I'm just going to hit, I grab the um, D key um, and with the scale tool and then move the pivot point and that just allows me to, as you see, move the uh, uh, scale it to some place other than the center of the selection. Anyhow, um, so here I have my shape, and if I go into my loft here, okay, you have the sections and spans. If I pop back here to wireframe, okay, so I can change the number of spans between each each of the lofted curves, okay, and uh, hmm, interesting. I'm not seeing the feature I was looking for. Okay, but as you see, the loft takes into account, all right, um, these these changes. So getting in straight lines can be a little bit difficult. All right, so let's mm -hmm, continuing to sort of play with this. Um, all right, I'm going to do another loft here, and I'm going to hit three on the keyboard. You do use one, two, or three a lot with nerves, and I will go to wireframe. And I am just going to grab the vertical guys here. Let's see. There we go. One, two, three. I'm holding down shift. And so I've selected, okay, the center three guys. And one of my favorite things with uh, working with NURBS is, okay, duplicate surface curve. And so now I have, all right, these three curves in the middle and I can loft between these guys. So sometimes you can do a more complex loft. Um, you know, you have to build these guys, um, loft these guys in the order that they're made. Uh, sorry, I had to select them in the order that I wanted them to loft, otherwise they will loft in the order that they're made. Okay, and that, all right. <laughs> So, before I loft it, I'm going to pop over to uh, Partial. Okay, so if you want straight lines, okay, so I can do a straight line between t uh, two of these guys. Let's actually do that for a moment. If I do these guys, it's going to do a straight loft between the two. All right, so if I do one, two, three, and apply, okay, it's going to do um, a straight edge there, and as I scale this down, as you see, that's going to give me a harder corner there. All right, so that's what the straight line does. The cubic, it would give it a wave, like a Coca-Cola bottle, as I, I went through there. Oops, delete it a little too much there, and delete, delete. Okay. So I'm uh, clicking this guy over to partial, right, one, two, three, four, five. 
All right, and what the partial allows me to do, and you can extrapolate this out to the other uh, curves, is I have the subcurves, okay? And so let's uh, play with this a little bit. Okay, that's up there. So that's the max value. So I'm just going to go to the min value. Okay, that's good. Go to the third one's min value. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm still on. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Partial cubic. One, two, three, four, five. All right. So I'm just sort of building the hood of an old car here. And so what I want to do here is I'm just going to slide up. There we go. Mm -hmm. And grab the next guy's men. And I slide him up. And then I grab this guy and slide him up. Okay, so you see what the partial does is it allows me to um, just slide the, the end, okay, or the beginning. That's the max values up there, and so that would have done it the other way. But that allows me to uh, just slide it up that uh, curvature there and get this new unique shape um, that I happen to want, okay? And then what I could do is select the isoparm here, Go to, um, let's see, da, da, da. duplicate surface curve, and good, and probably flatten that guy, actually, like that, da, da. and dupe him again in the middle, yeah. all right, I'm only going to do it once because there's only so far I want to go with this. Oops. Looks like I zed back once. Okay, there we go. And so I'm going to select this edge isoparm. I will select uh, these guys in order and apply a loft. And so as you see, I am slowly building out that shape I'm looking for out of NURBS and curves. And so I try to edit as far as possible with the nerve with the curves and then then dig into working with the uh, surfaces sort of late all right so if we just group these and group and dupe and then oops, do negative one all right and so there, as you see, I have this, the front end of an ancient, uh, ancient car. Okay, but so that's a little bit of working with history, working with NURBS curves, how you can think about these curves. Um, and, you know, just as, as you work with the curves, the surfaces are going to respond. And so it just, it just makes it a lot easier to conceptualize instead of having a zillion points in there. You see how I can really get that shape, you know, just the way I want it. Um, you know, and there, there are definitely downsides too, but more on that in another video. Well, I hope that helps. Have fun.